Hello guys, how are you doing? Today I would like to talk about a game that was recommended to me in an old video, Hypnospace Outlaw. This game caught my attention the first time I played it. This game is very short, but it has a lot of details and that's what I want to talk about here in this video. Usually I talk about the entire content of the game from beginning to end, but I want to do something different this time. This game can be much more fun when you don't know what to expect, and I hope that at the end of this video, you live here motivated to play this game. As I said in other videos, my generation grew up, the old internet and games from the 2000s became nostalgic things, and I dog I really like to see all these elements becoming popular in video games, I must admit that the natural path happened, and the gaming community ended up being flooded with hundreds of games of this style. It's obvious that not all of them are good, after all, polygonal graphics aren't the only thing that makes a game good, so let's value good games that represent this style. The story of the game is very simple. Here you are a kind of security guard in a virtual world. When the internet arrived, this idea of metaverse things was very popular. It's no wonder that everyone played at least one MMO. The game presents you with a commercial for the product that you need to protect. And I really like this commercial, it really looks very convincing. Moving on to the tutorial, your mission is also very simple. People always tend to think that the internet internet is a lawless land, and here it's no different. You need to monitor hypnospace users and prevent any kind of illegal content from being published. From time to time, you receive some reports of illegal content being published on a specific website, so you need to find the content and report it. You can also report the user who has many infractions, and just like in that book that I never read but I imagine what it's about, your superiors will decide an appropriate punishment. The game's tutorial is very detailed and it can be a little difficult to get the rhythm of the game at first, but you will get used to it quickly. As you have already noticed, during the game, you will always be using a computer, and this game represents this computer in a very good way. You have complete freedom to customize your computer, look how beautiful mine looks, and you can download some apps like a virtual pet, another very common thing from the 2000s. The game design is very psychedelic and looks a lot like LSD Dream Emulator. Everything here is directly reminiscent of those 3D GIFs from the old internet or a Keller Synth album. If you don't use the computer for a long time, the screen will start to be blocked with bricks. You have a huge list of websites and you can see the profile of each user. Each user has a very different and unique personality. For example, this guy who says he's Celtic, this girl who loves her boyfriend so much or this guy selling his CD. The game does a great job of convincing you that you are watching real people with real personalities. The universe inside this computer also contributes a lot to this. There are people selling services illegally using a currency that's not allowed in hypnospace. There are also some people who think they are guards and say they are doing the work that we don't do. It's also possible to infect your computer with some viruses if you click on suspicious links, and viruses are very very intimidating in this game. Your screen gets these weird distortions and this guy laughs from time to time. <laughs> The first time I was infected, I was afraid and I didn't know what to do. But it's obvious that the game has an antiviral system that cleans your computer. You can also download games that, well, you better be careful. There are 
are different communities within the game, and it's obvious that each of them has its own particularities. Tintopia is a place for teenagers, and users here really behave like teenagers. This Zane, for example, is a very edgy guy, just look at the comics the guy writes, but my god, he has such good taste in music. There is also a website for esotericists. Here we have spiritual gurus selling their services and the professor helper. He is the little purple monkey from Hypnospace. It's one of the most beautiful websites, I really like it here. The cafe is a comfy place, nothing much happens here and most users really like music. Nostalgic people also have their place. In Good Time Valley, people talk about old things as the community description itself says. Clearly the users of this part of Hypnospace are older people. The Hypnospace team from time to time sends reports of illegal content being posted on the websites, so it's your job to find the illegalities and report them to the authorities. You can report anything, so be careful not to waste the team's time. In short, your mission is to find users who are violating the copyright laws of this gill goldfish. So just like a certain Japanese company, we need to find these users. Okay, is there still more? Okay, I think this is crossing the line a bit. I mean, they are just drawings. The funniest thing about this job is that later in the game, the cute goldfish became a symbol of freedom of speech. A huge movement emerged in hypnospace of people who disagreed with the network's banning policy and began to use Gooper as the mascot of this movement, always raising American flags or dressed as Uncle Sam or as a soldier. Users mainly from Good Time Valley joined the Stand With Gooper movement in large numbers, but it's obvious that this was useless. After that, you need to solve a teenager's problem. Some of the users don't seem to like Zayn at all. One of them even made a page completely dedicated to saying how much he doesn't like Zayn, with even a gif of Zayn being punched in the face. The next job is a little more similar to something we see a lot in real life. Here, you will need to find people who are using an alternative currency that is not allowed. And this part of the investigation is really cool, you have to pretend to be a client to incriminate her. It's after this job that your computer can be attacked by a virus for the first time, so be careful. The next jobs are strange. You get a complaint about those kind of videos full of red liquid that some people share on Twitter being shared, and if you are curious to know how they would represent this kind of image in a safe for work game, it's just an image of an ultra realistic horde with eyes. In addition to having to deal with this, you need to contain a horde of people angry with the copyright laws that adopted the goldfish as a symbol of freedom. At this point in the game, you will have the chance to download a game and, well, you already know what happens. This is, without a doubt, the most aesthetic game you will see these days. If you like this nostalgic style, this game makes you feel at home. Not to say that the game is perfect, well, it has some problems and it can be a bit confusing game at first, but you get the hang of it. And that's the magic of this game. If you watched my video about LSD Dream later, you probably remember this. Dream later in 2023 is like walking to a digital museum with different works of art. Hypnospace Outlaw is also a work of art. Each website is made with care, each user has their own personality and tastes. Everything is beautiful, everything is colorful, everything is well designed, everything makes you want to play and read these texts for hours and hours. The game soundtrack is very good, it's very 2000s, and all the songs 
are written by bands that exist in the game universe. It's no wonder that this is one of the best internet simulators I've played recently. Even the physical editions of this game are very immersive and look like something straight out of 1999. So enjoy, not feeling immersed in this universe is almost impossible. guys, this was my recommendation this week. Perhaps the game I recommend most out of all the games I've already brought here. And if you've already played this game, please leave your opinion in the comments below. That's it, goodbye, i see you next time.